Welcome folks to Bring TV. I'm basically going to treat it like a fresh broadcast because it pretty much is. Uh, we haven't seen any action today. The first uh, match we had lined up, uh, Arrow was not able to field five, so they rescheduled. Therefore, we went straight to uh, this one. It's going to be Rush Zone versus Rise Gaming. And uh, I am quite happy to say that uh, we're about to broadcast some ESL Brink. Should be good times. Um, for those that aren't aware, this is a, a pretty massive tournament. It started with 200 teams signed up. Um, those 200 teams, actually over 200 teams, they went through a qualifying round for their region. Once they got through that, then obviously we begin the group stage. That, uh, the groups were broken down into eight groups of four. And of course, we are looking for basically uh, at the end of these play days, there are going to be three play days for these groups. At the end of these play days, we will have um, a certain number of... Uh, winning teams decided which will then be uh, pitted off into a bracket obviously they play that out until we have a final winner so um, a lot of a uh, lot of steps in the ladder to climb and of course Arise Gaming and Rush Zone are about to uh, get things rolling um, now I do want to take a look at, at the records of these two teams uh, this is a group E qualifier we've got uh, Rush Zone uh, in the Nordic qualifier they lost to 6-1 um, twice it looks like, but then they won versus, uh, pardon me if I butcher these, these names, uh, Juke, J-O-U-K-K-U-E, or Juku, something like that. Um, they won against Mash Heads, and they won against, uh, Fly Gaming. Rise, on the other hand, um, in the norm normal qualifier, they lost to SGS, they lost to Rasta, but, um, they won then won against SGS, and one against Umbongo. However, um, they also played through the last chance qualifier. Uh, lost against Phil the Luck, lost against Mouse, uh, but they were able to win against VIP Gaming Ultra and uh, uh, Joku and Reunion and Raw Messiah in order to get a spot today in this group stage play day number one. So, should be good times. Of course, Losing here doesn't necessarily, you know, losing here doesn't necessarily uh, boot you out because you have uh, several play days to work through. Basically, at the end of the group stage, whoever has the most points, uh, based on wins and maps won, and uh, and all that good stuff, uh, losses and forfeits, all those things tally up to points, and whoever has has the most points, they uh, move on into the championship bracket. So. Looks like we're already getting some map picks under the way, even though we're still missing a couple of guys from Rise. We have now four Rush Zone. We did have at one point four Rise, so I imagine we're just going to wait for a couple more connections there. Let's go ahead and uh, see what these teams are going to be choosing in terms of uh, map choices. Kind of excited about that. ESL has been running a, a pretty restrictive rule set, but it's one that takes the core game of Brink um, and removes a lot of the abilities that tend to be considered spammy or not necessarily competition ready abilities and by removing them has created a game that is far more I guess likely to have times set and of course in stopwatch you have uh, one team plays offense one please one team plays defense and then you swap sides and essentially the team that was previously attacking is now defending and vice versa, the team that was defending is now attacking. And their job, as the now attacking team, is to set a faster time than their opponents just set. Um, whenever you don't have times being set, it is not only a headache uh, for the teams, but it also just really isn't fun, sadly. So, um, essentially, you want the game to be offensively biased. You want... It's, it's not a matter of whether or not a team can complete the objectives. You want that to happen. Instead, it comes down to who can complete them the fastest. And, uh, and with the vanilla brink, that just doesn't happen. It's just too defensively biased. So what ESL has done is they've removed several abilities, uh, almost everything from the, from the operative class. Um, they've removed, for example, the engineer's second mine. Um, there's an honor system rule to only put down one turret per team. Uh, they have re-enabled command post buffs. Um, I do not know if engineers are allowed to upgrade those command posts, though. Because uh, it's sort of a weird thing. Uh, command posts are one of the things that, that got tossed out. Actually, it uh, looks like Shipyard is the choice from Rush Zone. That's going to be quite interesting. Let's see, what, what other things are out? Um, yeah, so only one mine per engineer, one turret per team. All the things like combat intuition, adrenaline, uh, those are all out. There's no de-hacking. 
of uh, an objective. So once a hackbox is down, that's what you run with. Um, there's no reversal of progress. Um, let's see. The engineer's weapon buff is only... Um, they're only allowed the first weapon buff. So uh, that's a 17% potential increase to the weapons, not the typical 30 or so that you get through the improved weapon buff. So that's out. Um, I think all the soldier abilities stay, except for satchel charges. Uh, I think that's about right. Obviously, um, no self-revives, no down fire. I think that's most of, you know, the obvious stuff uh, that, that has been removed. So, uh, okay. So the second map hasn't been chosen. I, I didn't miss it. I figured I missed it when I was busy blabbing. It happens. All right. Looks like it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> I'm going to run the rosters and the classes. We have a pair of engineers, a pair of medics, and a soldier. The engineers, this is for security, the engineers uh, are going to be Jeebs and Ember. Soldier's going to be Hippie. Dead Mouse and Dan are going to be our medics for the security. Security, of course, is attacking on this map. Resistance is going to be running, and that's going to be Rush Zone Midair. Dusky, GFN, in NV, Inventory, Invite, I don't know what that is. Born. And it looks like the class breakdown is going to be a pair of medics, Inv and uh, Midair, are going to be the medics. Dookie is our soldier. Uh, we've got engineers as Born and GFN. I don't know if that's a short of Griffin or Giffen or Given or whatever. It's a, it's a name. GFN. There we go. Talk a little bit about strategies on this map. One pissing BRB, I guess. Uh, basically, we're getting all the uh, the good esports etiquette and protocol uh, out of the way before we got there. Command post buffs are in play here, so let me hop out and fly around a little bit because it's actually really, really important. It's going to change the tactics of this map pretty significantly. Whoop! Hang on, I need to take a, a funky exit out of here. Those uh, barricades are indeed in place. Okay, so I want to go over to the security spawn. It's gonna waltz my ass over here. Yeah. All right. Quite a trek, quite a trek. All right. So here is where we begin at security, and they need to make their way. There are several paths. There's one out here. There's one out here, and then, of course, these split off here. There's a there's a route to go top side through here. You can get there medium or light. Uh, you can also rock your way over to this command post. This is what I wanted to point out. There's a p command post uh, here. There's health and supply command post. And the way they work is whenever you capture them, not only can teams reload their ammo on them instantly by just interacting with them, but... Uh, they can also change their class, and if it's a health command post, then the team, the entire team, gets a one extra health pip. And, oh, we're going live in about five seconds. I'm happy. And then if it's a supply command post, you get the same extra pip, but it goes to your supplies. So, again, that's across the entire team. Good luck. Have fun. have been exchanged. We are live, folks, on this uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon if you're in North America. And evening if you are in Europe. And it looks like we have... Ooh, we have a full push going out this way. Nice and coordinated. Looks like uh, they're splitting up slightly. Uh, passing the highway of death. Yeah, a little bit of uh, f fodder here. We got deep coming up the back side. I'm going to take a look at uh, see how we've got rush zone set up. Looks like we got somebody already in the tunnels. You can see the name down below. Um, we do have, uh, of course, rush zone on resistance on defense. Uh, a lot of fire coming in through main. This is the main passageway. Dan's already been pulled down. Not good, though. Uh, and then, of course, this is the side passageway. Bourne is in pretty much uh, one of the best positions I have found. Uh, you can dodge nades up here. You can, of course, have the height advantage. You need to watch out for incoming fire from this uh, long hallway here. Uh, you can, as lights, do a kick jump off of this to get over to this platform. Uh, but Bourne gets a great view of both the main and, of course, having height advantage on on side. He hears the nade coming in from Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse has crossed the path. He's, he's looking. He should be checking to see it. Look at it. See how he's hugging this side? It's because from up above there is Bourne. And uh, let's see if Bourne can take down Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse pretty much coming in uh, on his own. Yeah, down and out. So, obituary list pretty much filled up with quite a few rush zones. I think only one rise got a kill there. So I'm going to hop back and do a little bit of a shoulder camming action, see if I can find some security. Yeah, fresh spawn wave for the security. Uh, pretty much, I think that's all five. I need to hop out and actually do a count, but we have shoulder cam and I cannot control the camera. So shoulder cam is going to look a bit weird, folks, but uh, that's just the sort of nature of it. We have a, a pair splitting off, taking high ground uh, as they attack. And uh, they're going to need to... Um, actually, you know, this... I would love to see them go up, perhaps uh, not take this, this main path. Um, you can do a kick jump off of the wall onto the boxes in order to take the... Uh, tossing a nade up there to maybe take out a mine that might be up there. Um, 
And oh, we got a little bit of flanking action, it looks like. Uh, that was... I'm not quite sure who got the kill there, but... A nice little, nice little flanking action. Yeah, Ducky. Ducky flew out there. and Enver got the kill, but Midair was able to return the favor. So, again, another another respawn wave. Looks like Hippie and Enver are running pretty much the same same role. I'm going to hop back out to the objective, take a look and see how Rush Zone of the Defense is setting up. We've got Ducky. And this is, um, you know, pretty obvious place to, to maybe run a mine. Uh, we do not have build on the barricades at all. We've got uh, Dead Mouse again trying main push. Pretty much not going to work at all. Ducky needs to take Dead Mouse out, though. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to respawn anyway. Not worried about the revive. Where are the medics? That, that's a good question. Let's see if we can hop out and get a little shot of that. Let's see if we can get another view of this push. I see a medic up here. I'm going to watch Dead Mouse because see who he's running with. Taking a kind of a long pathway. We actually have a repair on the crane. I'm going to watch Dead Mouse though because he's going to probably be arriving. Look at that. Tossing a Lazarus grenade from main all the way out to the objective. Of course, that means Jeep needs to protect himself. He goes down to a nade and he's going to get gibbed probably right here. We have another Lazarus grenade getting uh, someone up. It looks like Midair is going to get revived. Down goes Dan. With that being said though, security has taken this over pretty convincingly, and we're going to get back on the objective in just a second. They need to take down midair. Uh, he's just been pulled down, and they're giving everyone except for midair. Uh, he is a medic. We should see a tap on this objective in just uh, no time at all. In fact, the engineer getting up right now is Jeeps. Uh, he's, his fellow uh, engineer is Enver. Enver, of course, is probably going to be playing forward. Um, it's quite often that you want a guy playing forward in order to keep that firepower up. You, you don't want to leave uh, yourself totally open. Actually, Enver is dead right here. Getting a revive. Actually, it's a revive on the Resistance do uh, Dookie. So it looks like Resistance has been able to recover pretty significantly here. Yeah, they have done it. So only though Ducky and Born up, but with respawns being what they are, uh, we're going to see a fresh spawn wave in just a few seconds. Gibbs are happening, making sure they're not leaving any bodies strewn about. Uh, that can really dampen your day. We already have... Actually, we, look at that. We already have some uh, pushing out here. That was a revive on Jeebs. And they're going to try to take Tunnel. I'm going to follow this push. See how it works. Of course, we do have a delay on the stream, which is nice because, uh, you know, we don't want any cheaters happening. Uh, of course, no operative running. So you can't spot any mines that we're probably going to run into, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Of course, engineers are able to dis uh, disarm mines that they happen to trigger. That's why you had the engineer running first. Um... And let's see what we got here. Ooh, Dead Mouse taken back. Back, uh... He will actually have the ability to flank here. You can see him coming in and trying to push back the resistance. Let's see where Jeebs went off to. So he might have gotten a little bit too big for his britches. Dead Mouse still doing quite a bit of damage. Locking Rush Zone down. Coming under fire. And wow, oh, wow, they're really pushing this. Hippie is up. Uh, of course, as a soldier, great class to be the guy that uh, floods this entranceway with nades and flashbangs. And, of course, there's the molly. Uh, he's not able to take down three, though, so here they come. But he's able to give information about the push and how they split and all that good stuff. Let's see if it pays off at all. It looks like Enver just now getting up, trying to get up on the objective, but it's all too little, too late. He's coming under fire, and down he goes. The crossfire is too much, and down he'll go. So we've got rush zone. Uh, pretty much holding things down quite a bit. We've seen just barely a touch on this objective. Uh, I'm going to hop over again and maybe take a look at uh, some additional Securita and see what they're putting together. We have a command post capture by Dead Mouse. Rise. Not sure which command post that is, if it's uh, health or supply, but again, you'll get born just after. Okay, there it is. That's where he was grabbing. Um, that's the health command post. So, uh, Right now, for this push, Rise will have an extra health pip. That being said, uh, are they able to get the clear? We see a Lazarus grenade going off somewhere over to the left. Dead Mouse getting a little bit too aggressive, not using cover very well, and he will be uh, taken down. On the crane, it looks like, again, Born with a turret, uh, pretty much perfectly placed. This is very, very difficult to hit with a nade, unless you know that it's up there, you're coming from side, and you, and you happen to just get a great toss. The problem here, though, Getting in position for that toss, you have to expose yourself to Bourne's, uh, you know, just regular rifle fire. So he will pretty much own your face uh, before you can get an aid up on that turret. Of course, he's also able to repair it 
Uh, so you have to get, you know, uh, perfectly two nades up there at the same time, pretty much to pull it down. Um, all the while, of course, it will be firing onto main, this main entrance here. Uh, and of course, it also provides great coverage for anyone who actually tries to build and repair the crane control. So, um, great placement here. I, I love this. Alternate placement we sometimes see is maybe over here, but this is uh, quite a bit exposed. Pretty easy, a lot easier to toss the nade on this one. Uh, quite frankly, uh, from this position. But you still get that coverage uh, of the objective pretty solidly. So, born at this point, I mean, I, again, I, I just love this point. It's, uh, this position, it's, it's pretty much, you know, you can call out guys funneling over to the backside where Envy is set up. Um, you know, he's got a heads up every single time that he wants to uh, go toe to toe. Hippie Dan pushing up from behind. We have Rush Zone getting a three kills in a row. Midair getting a pair, in fact, and GFM getting one. Joined by Inch, so they're going to shut this down completely. Dan will be gibbed in just moments. So, pretty solid hold so far. Uh, yeah, I, I just I don't, I don't see anything really changing uh, considerably. So, let's do a little bit of shoulder cam action, see what we can put together uh, for this crew. Maybe we can get a little bit more of a tap on the objective. That's what I'd like to see. Alright, oh look at this, we got Jeep pushing in and able to take down Born and Katie to destroy the turret. Looks like we got a light push, able to do the kick jump. Uh, Jeep's taking down the turret as well. So now can in stop the, the madness that is starting to unfold. Jeebs getting it done. Uh, and it's pretty much clear the highway of death. Oh, but he goes down to GFN. So it took three guys to pull down Jeebs. Let's see if that is going to be uh, a costly endeavor um, for this resistance. Do they have any kinks in the armor? Looks like you got a fresh long with coming in. So no, uh, whatever advantages they had are um, for the security are about to be plugged with this spawn wave. So. That being said, uh, potential here, let's see. Again, height advantage, Duke, you're doing a great job. Just mowing down rise as they come through main. There is just no give. You have to be checking those um, those spots with either grenade or going up there physically um, rather than meeting bullets with your face. So, that being said, midair, great coverage um, on this particular spot. Again, this is another one you can do a kick jump off of this wall, turn around, and grab... Actually, we just saw somebody... Yeah, Dookie went ahead and did that. So, kick jump off the wall, turn around, grab it, and you're up, and you're in. It's good times. That being said, massive uh, push here midair, and Dookie getting pairs all around. Born has changed up the position of his turret, and um, again, this is another good spot because it's, it's actually quite difficult to get a grenade toss. Uh, from here, because you have to toss it over the objective and land it right here, and there's a good chance it might hit here, bounce off, and fall helplessly below the turret. So, great turret positioning so far. We've got Dead Mouse running his uh, favorite little route so far. Let's see if it... What was that? Is that a potential teabag? I wouldn't mind. Dead Mouse, let's see what he can do. Taken down... Actually, it's the end of getting the kill on Dizzy. Dead Mouse not getting enough cover though, coming under fire and had been joined by Bourne and down he goes. So Bourne's going to reclaim this position, putting down a mine as well. So, um, pretty, pretty solid stuff so far. Ten minute hold, we've passed the halfway point. And, um, I, I don't see the first objective getting built, sadly. I'm getting word that that is indeed a favorite turret spot for some of our viewers. And you can see it going to town right there, not quite getting the kill, but assisting for sure. Um, yeah, right now, just a solid lockdown by Rush Zone. Question is, when we switch sides, will Rush Zone be able to do any better? Um, as far as attacking main consistently, I'm, I'm not sure I like it. Um, because just so far, the, uh, the shots by Rush Zone have been solid enough. They've been able to hold everything down. He said we got uh, someone from Rise. Not quite sure who that was. Might have been Hippie getting taken down right here. Again, great coverage. Um, Ducky, you know, you, you, Dookie, you really have to hold this position quite solidly. Um, having this upper upper ground just makes this a highway of death. 
Got a lab just gonna be coming in. Jeeves trying to get in to get the kill on Dookie. Not the Gib, though. Potential revive coming in. And actually, ooh, Rush Zone pushing out maybe a little bit too much. Let's see if that turns into results for Rise. We got Jeeves coming up. He is an engineer. Has to reload. He's got to watch his flanks. And, oh, GFN able to put him down. Not getting the give yet. Dookie getting revived. So we got some fire coming in. Yeah, Dead Mouse again pushing that, but it's it's not looking very coordinated. Go make a comparison between maybe first uh, first attack versus this attack, and it's sadly sadly a bit uh, a bit one sided and disjointed. So Jeep's been pulled down again. Looks like he's been basically uh, sadly heroing it in. Not really getting the support he needs and the timing he needs from his team. But again, look at the crossfires that Rush Zone's been able to set up. GFN only poking out whenever he's needed. He's willing to come up uh, to this upper uh, side defensive position whenever he's needed. And basically, if Warren goes down, he fills the gap. He floods this uh, route here. So, really solid play there. Otherwise, he's hanging back. Um, covering lower back entrance and of course also hopping oops excuse me hopping up here in order to get shots in on main so really everything is just so well prepared by rush zone I, I can understand why rise is having such a hard time um, getting a rise on that objective progress born get it coming under fire it looks like uh, ooh, a little bit of flanking action uh, I think that was Enver that tried to get in there hippie trying to poke around born gonna press it up Trying to uh, do a little bit of wall jumping to make sure he's not doing an obvious play coming around the corner. Mine coming back up. That's a good uh, good mine replacement timing because we heard the nades uh, getting thrown out by the offense. So they won't have more to chuck towards that mine. Might want to switch up the placement of it every now and then, but otherwise it's good. It's all good. Born coming under fire though. He's got to defend himself against Jeeves. And Ducky's going to put him down pretty handily. Yeah, that being said, Born did go down to Hippie. and hop back out to Free Fly and see how this is pushing in. Again, this position so key because not only can you um, stop any attempt coming in through here, which is actually happening right now, Enver goes down, uh, but, of course, you can supply fire. You're sort of out of the line of fire for a lot of uh, the sneak attacks through main and then again through, uh, through side. And, of course, you have awesome coverage of the back entrance of Jeebs and it looks like Enver pushing in Jeebs on the objective massive nade influx GFN's gonna take everything down so and there's Enver getting the Gibbs so pretty solid hold 15 minutes plus turret is down but uh, yeah GFN rushing back getting his position on this uh, and again look at this he retakes this position born um, from spawn Says, let me hold this for a second. No one's coming. Okay, let me get back into my position. So just great, great teamwork. There's Bourne returning to his spot. Great zone defense so far. Really, really solid. And of course, that works on multiple levels. They are rest zone after all. But uh, essentially, they are running a zone defense. So fantastic stuff. Uh, Jeep, I think, is the only guy to get any sort of touch on this thing. Enver, uh, while also being an engineer, not able to, uh, to move in. Hippie, though, trying to get flanking action but not having the cover um sadly this is not cover this is cover so needing to go uh to the left when he went right no problem no problem the rush zone is still holding it down let's see if perhaps rise can get a little bit more progress however the way that the rules work in esl um uh, it's uh, it's a bit I, I I don't know I don't know if I want to call it saddening but um, I think it's going to be a lot more frustrating for teams um, in North America what we've been running is the game actually tracks progress for things like construct objectives and um, repair objectives and hack objectives so because there's no de hacking it's a it's a viable way to measure progress essentially um, we go by whatever the game says. Uh, which whichever team if, if both teams get held on a map and obviously we're gonna get held here because there's a whole other objective and we only got three minutes left um, if a team gets held 
then in North America, we go by the actual progress of the objective. In the ESL EU rules, oh, we got GFN getting two pistol kills. Let me hop over and give him a little bit of cam time if I can. There he is. Um, in the ESL rules, the way they work it is it goes by actual objective completion. So, like, say, if Rush Zone is able to, when they are on offense, complete the repair objective, then they're done. They have beaten uh, Rise. Okay. But the it will not matter if they get 1% or 99%. If they are unable to complete the objective, uh, this is considered a draw. Um, which is, you know, again, not something I agree with. I, I feel like, uh, obviously, you want to try to get to points where you don't have full holds, double full holds. But um, when you don't, you know, get that, you, I think it's still viable to say, excuse me, still viable to, to try to um, say that, you know, the, the team that happened to get greater progress should be the winner. So, um, of course, where this all falls apart, though, is whenever you have a bomb objective, because there is no clear way. Oh, wow, look at that. Right as GFN goes down, we got a respawn wave of three coming in. I'm going to hop out and take a look at this objective and see if this is going to be enough in order to get another tap on this objective. We've got only Dead Mouse, I think, alive, because there come the kills. Everyone except for Dead Mouse getting a kill. And wow. Enver, they're going straight for the objective, just trying to get it filled. He will get taken down right here. Not quite give yet. Jeeps coming in and actually running into a nade, not building on the objective. GFN's going to get the gib. And we are returned with a minute left to the drawing board for Rise. So, um, I, again, I believe that there's like a, a tiebreaker on Terminal. And the way that works is I think that one's maybe based on progress. It is. You know, it's kind of weird. I mean, the, the EU... Uh, ESL rules, they make a lot of sense if the game is so defensively biased. You have to. Absolutely have to. But it's not balanced already, Wolf Nemesis. I mean, I, I know that you've been really involved in a lot of the forum thread postings, and I appreciate the input that you've been providing, because it's really cool. But, um, yeah, if if the game was balanced, and if it was balanced for competition, they're, they're two very different things. Pub play and competition are very different. Jeeves getting a build. Let's see if he can get the hero hold mode and actually get the objective uh, completed. No, he will not. And uh, let's see if we can find maybe another engineer to get in on this objective uh, just to try to get this thing completed. Because if they can complete it, only five seconds left. Not going to happen. But a uh, good half. Well played, says Jeeves. All right. This is it. Finally, we're free. You free so, the arc. That's you know, this is just a, sort of a hope that uh, that we reduce the number of double full holds. Every now and then, you're going to get full holds, right? You're going to get 20 same. minute held times. But what you want now, what I'm hoping to see is that um, Rush Zone, who is on the defense there, uh, hopefully they're able to just set a pretty decent time, considering how well they held off Rise. Um, that is what you want to see in these games. Um, you know, it's it's perfectly okay to have domination. In fact, you want again offensive bias, um, because again, pub play. Yeah, you, you want things to be kind of defensively biased because you want games to get down to the, like the final minute, right? Um, the problem, though, is that in stopwatch, when you have a set time limit, when you don't have script controlled timers, um, when you have a set time limit, and and you need to get through the entire map within 20 minutes, having a defensive bias basically breaks the game. It, it breaks the game mode, I should say, of stopwatch. So ESL rules are designed, at least an effort, to make uh, time set a, a far greater possibility. So that's what we're hoping to see. <laughs> uh, like have fun. Uh, yeah, of course, now we flip sides. We're going to see Shipyard again. Um, and, uh, let's see how this pans out. I'm kind of curious to see, again, I'm hoping to see Rush Zone, I, I kind of stomp, rise, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, but again, um, typically what you want to see in competition is roughly 10 to 15 minute time set. In ET, sometimes you had times being set as, you know, quicker than 10 minutes. I mean, it's, you want quick games. 
Um, again, the whole idea is whether or not you can complete objectives faster, not whether or not objectives can be completed at all. That being said, we already have Rushstone getting several kills. Dead Mouse, though, coming up and getting a pair for himself. And uh, up on the objective is Born. We saw Born be a powerhouse on defense, although it looks like, sadly, he'll be pulled down by Dan. Not quite sure where Dan got his shot off, but uh, turret has been disabled. We have the next push potentially coming in. Rise trying, trying to reclaim, but they do not have position yet. They do not have position at all. Enver is pretty much the only guy, but he's seriously exposed and will probably be taken down unless he switches up his, his spot. Yeah, he does. Jeeves, of course, coming in with one of their heavy hitters. They have a command post capture for Rush Zone. They're probably going to go for that. Uh, I think it's a supply post um, over on this side of the map and health post over here. So, yeah, they're, they're going for the supply post. That being said, a lot of rise kills so far. Hippie, though, trying to get a pair. Can midair get a kill? No, Hippie has survived. So we do have a command post capture for security. I'm going to hop over and see what uh, engineer loadout's going to be for security. We have Born and GFN. So I'm actually going to hop over to GFN. See, oh, he's dead. Okay, let's see if we can find Born. Born is alive and waiting for his team as they just respawn. Yeah, and this is a very important uh, thing to see in stopwatch. Since you have 5v5, you have to do coordinated pushes. You can see Born is sitting there waiting for his team to, to push through. And then he will get the word. Actually, Midir is uh, even going as far as to get the other command post. You can see his name across the way. That is the health command post that he is capturing right there. Um, and, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see if we get a, a double up through this passageway. Again, I really like the fact that we're seeing Rushstone use this passageway. Um, this is such an important um, path because you don't expose yourself until you're actually out. You don't expose yourself to incoming fire. Uh, that being said, that did not exactly work. It looks like they tried to switch that up. We got a Lazarus grenade though getting Jeebs up from Hippie. So, still continuing to hold 20 minute time to beat. Full respawn for security. And we've got Born teaming up with Invid again. So it looks like maybe they're splitting up their, their medics and their engineers. And I'm not sure where they're sending Dookie, but um, that's, a, that's a pretty good split. You want that support? A little bit of uh, patience shown by Invid. He's got to watch out. He doesn't have full cover here. He's coming up and straight into Invid. It takes a lot of damage, but able to dish it out as well. And there is Born with him. And can he wait a little bit longer? No, he takes a little bit more damage, so he is not recharged yet. And down he goes. And uh, it looks like side will be flooded with incoming fire. That being said, two guys on rise went down. Um, Dan trying to get, of all things, uh, some sniper shots in. Not going to pan out. Dookie, though, taking the objective. Still up. About to die. Down he goes. So Rai is able to recover four minutes in. Definitely going to need that to, to change. I'm going to see if I can get uh, another engineer spot. We're going to watch GFN. Can I give you and, of course, I think watching soldiers is always fun because it's sort of see what kind of uh, hurt they're putting on. So we're going to switch over to his shoulder cam in just a minute, but I want to watch GFN to see what he rolls as the second engineer. He should have a medic behind him. Uh-oh, getting flanked! Looks like Dead Mouse will pull him down and get the gib immediately. So, very solid work there. Great, great flanking. Already pulled one of the en engineers out of the uh, out of the picture. We got Dukey taking this upper side route. You need to be careful with his nades. He's already used, I think, his Molotov. I heard the glass shatter. And he tries to retreat, messes up the jump, and he will pretty much uh, actually not die. Pretty close to dying, though, I would imagine. And. Able to find cover. He's going to get uh, potentially, yep, just pr pretty much pulled down by Hippie. He was almost dead, and he did not have enough time to regen his life. So, five minutes burned away. No real touch on the objective. I think we only had a slight one. So, even with ESL rules, I mean, this is honestly, you know, again, I, I, this is why I opened up my thread um, saying that perhaps, even though it's cheap, I mean, I, I recognize that it's cheap or that it's, you know, potentially not something that would typically be uh, used in competition, but the use of adrenaline, uh, at least for plant objectives, viable. 
you know, we're, we're, still, we're still seeing the potential of a double full hole. Despite all the restrictions, so we'll see, we'll see. That being said, security pouring through, and notice how they did not take the uh, the main or side. They, they took up a route. We have a repair on the objective. GFN is on it. The question is now, can the better shots of Rush Zone hold off Rise as they rise to the occasion to try to redefend? We've got Dan calling out positions. Ducky chasing him down, going to try to get the kill and pull that... Uh, his counterpart out of the equation. We have a very long build. I'm going to hop over to um, free fly cam as we have uninterrupted, finally interrupted by, I'm not sure who pulled down defense. It looks like it was Jeeves. And so we've got Dead Mouse getting a kill on Born and Inv as well. So potential retake of this objective. But uh, question is, can Rise hold onto it? Dookie trying to flank, not able to happen. The hippie has pulled, uh, been able to pull him down. So pretty solid touch on the objective though. And only... Uh, about six and a half minutes in in trying to push through the same route that gave them the biggest uh, build so far this half that being said um, they now have to reclaim the entire objective so I'm gonna uh, in pressing it again dead mouse able to get the kill and uh, very nice very nice coverage that being said though they're really pressing it uh, Duke getting a little bit more hate but let's see if in yeah did get a revive so midairs joined him question is, though, now how will they press this objective? We have Hippie still up along with... Let's see, we got Jeeves' turret in play. Dead Mouse has returned. So Dead Mouse, again, I think one of their heaviest hitters uh, in terms of shot uh, needs to be on his game. Jeeves as well, another uh, decent shot for Rise, so... That being said, you know, they're using kind of the... Uh, <laughs> one of the alternate turret placements. Uh, this one again, the turret's a lot more exposed um, to incoming fire and grenades. But when Dead Mouse is covering it so solidly, maybe maybe the turret will stay up a bit longer than people expect. One thing I don't think we've seen yet is a uh, tunnel push. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. It takes a bit of time to coordinate, but uh, can be quite effective. Apparently, someone's stuck on a mine. We've got ooh flanking action. And this will be, it looks like Dead Mouse coming through, taking down one, but he did kill the medic, so that's very important. Great target choice. Born on the objective, taken out of mine with his face, but he is on it nonetheless. Great push by Rush Zone. So maybe Dead Mouse is uh, uh, pushing up was a little bit too much. That being said, Dan now sniping on the objective from main. <laughs> He's going to get uh, shut down by GFN. And you should be going right back on the objective. Where's a medic to get this engineer up? He's been now gibbed. Oh, and there's the Lazarus Canadian coming in just a second too late as the gib has happened. 11 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, but pretty solid build again. Um, that being said, Rush Zone does not control this just yet. GFN is going to be taken down by Jeeves. Jeeves getting a pair before he uh, is done. And he's finally pulled down by midair. But right now, everything is quite hectic. Uh, a little bit of back and forth, and no solid uh, grasp of this objective. There is a revive coming in on Inv, and there is Bourne getting the build. So they were not able to reset. Oh, my goodness. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Still needing to be repaired. Bourne getting revived. We now have two engineers on this objective, and Inv needs to watch out for Nate. Nice job there. Needs to ready his Lazarus grenade. Oh, he's pressing all the way up here. Look at this. He's pressing all the way up. And does get a kill against Hippie, taking down their medic on Rise. That is huge, and he kills Denver. So I think we might see this thing uh, fully repaired. Bourne's getting a lot of coverage. Fantastic work by Inv to uh, to cover the respawn wave. And now it's it's all up to uh, potentially this respawn. We got Enver, Jeeves, and Dead Mouse all coming from uh, offense left. The question is, can they press in? We got Bourne again, getting a push, getting a touch. The question is, can he get uh, a revive in? Should, oh, there it is. Repair on the crane control. So that right there is enough of a progress to say that Rush Zone has indeed uh, beat their opponents. But let's see if they play it out. I, I do not know what the what the choice is. Looks like they are going to play it out. They haven't disconnected or anything like that. No GG's exchanged. So we are going to continue. Uh, that being said, we still have another map to play. So this is uh, kind of the... The concern with running uh, full holds. <laughs> so, 
then this is pretty much a, an impossible objective. It's it's very, very defensively minded. Uh, let me hop out and take a look at the, the, the class loadout. Looks like we got Dan doing the snipe thing. Um, class loadout we have for the offense. Still a paramedic, still a pair of engineers. We just replaced the soldier with an operative, Dookie. He's going to be running that role. So our engineers and medics stay in their, uh, in their roles. That being said, Inv has already come through here and is clearing the crap out of this objective. Kibby's able to survive, but took a lot of damage, able to get a pair of Gibbs. But, ah, uh, there is Dookie as the operative, getting the kill. And can he get a hack box up? Again, I... I, I kind of would like to see them, uh... GG this, so we can get to the next map. This is a bit of a problem. Just in terms of timing and all the other games that we wanted to... We wanted to witness today. So. Now the thing is, I you know, third person cam is fun, except that a lot of the battles aren't going to take place on the objective, sadly. So you have a, I mean, just look at the travel time. A lot of travel time is the objective. And we're not able to take down the operative, and he is on it. And getting a hack in. He's got a health boost by his teammate in. Question is now. Oh, I hear the crane controls operating as well. So now the offense has a separate route in. In getting a tons of fire. Looking for whatever cover he can. He gets flanked by Dan. And uh, Duke is going to have to protect himself. Whips out his gun. Gets another hack in. He's got Bourne coming in with... Uh, ooh, trying to get a good spot for his turret. Maybe. And you know, frankly... Oh, this is this is actually pretty good, pretty good stuff here. It's a short window, but it actually causes quite a bit of havoc. Uh, havoc. That being said, it can be run right by. It looks like resistance has retaken this. Now, just to just call this out, this is where the friggin' resistance spawns. It's like it's like right over here. So they have like a maybe a five to ten second run. Whereas security has a 30 second run. It's pretty crazy. Let's hop over to, uh, oops. Yeah, let's, let's, let's watch Dookie. He's our, he's our neighborhood operative. They do have, of course, the uh, crane control completed, so. Looks like cow stops are in. Did not, uh, did not realize that. And that's nice to see. And nice nade there. There's a, there's a laser grenade tossed on him. Either way, nice work there. Another hack continuing action. Wow, we're already 50 or 60 percent done with this thing. We may in, indeed see a time set pretty quickly. Very nice, very nice hack. Here it comes and and look at this great, great use of communication. Uh, Duke knows exactly where to hide and how to stay out of sight um, so that he's not coming under fire. Fantastic work there. He's also protected from most nades that would be coming in. Because this is a raised platform. Look at this. Rush zone getting three uh, kills. Desm Dead Mouse is the only guy to get any sort of touch uh, and dent into the rush zone powerhouse that is holding down this objective. So we are pretty much done with this, guys. I'm going to hop out to the third person to see the progress. 80% roughly. And there's Envy getting a buff on Dookie. Dookie comes off to protect himself and uh, right back to hacking. So we should see this completed in just a few seconds. Fantastic work by Rush Zone, and so maybe, maybe perhaps, indeed, we could say that uh, ESL rules are working as intended because this is one of the hardest objectives ever to complete in this game, and Rush Zone has just done it, setting a time. Uh, I think it was about 5:30 on the clock, so about 14 minutes, 30 seconds, roughly. Because yeah, it's you're supposed to work it out. You're supposed to work it out where um, you know you have the greatest potential for a team to set a time where we saw Rise on offense the first map, they should have been on defense because it was Rush Zone's map pick. So a little, little bit of a snafu there, but that's okay. We're going live. That's all that matters. It's good times. Um, we have, out of the gate, let's take a look at the class loadout we have. Uh, Jeebs as an operative, Enver as a second operative. So... Um, only one medic, no, excuse me, two medics, no engineers. This is interesting. That's, that's what's missing, engineers. Um, and, uh, 
and a soldier of hippie. So they are, of course, taking the command post. Hang on. Let me hop in so I can get a nice free fly angle on this push. Right now we've got uh, Dookie holding us down. A little bit of a flank. Rushstone holding down the room pretty much completely. Uh, I don't even see a body in here for the security. That's, that's not a good sign. Mines are placed and... Man, this, this could be bad. Look at this. Jeep's going straight for the offensive conveyors, trying to get uh, that held down. Mid are able to get out of the line of fire and get the revive in. On Inf, Inf's going to try to uh, push in. Oh, actually, he runs away from a nade. Smart choice. Always good to run away from grenades. So I've found. So. But yeah, I mean, let's take a look at this room and how it's pretty much locked down. I have yet to see hardly anyone get... Get into it. Mine is still up CP side. Let's hop around to the security and see what they're putting together. Again, if um Oh god, I wouldn't hope it wouldn't do that thing. Um again if uh, if this does get you know pretty much one sided, we'll just head off to the other game. Okay, so I got word from the admins here. I'm trying to organize stuff. That's why you're here to click and collect the keyboard. Uh, and we do have a hack box down. Yay! But um, currently I am trying to uh, organize things so that we'll have... Wow! Uh, somebody's body flew. Good lord. Hippie comes in and getting a very nice pair of kills. Dookie's down. Dookie's self kills in. Whoops. Um, but I'm trying to get things organized. Looks like the uh, first cab and Veritas game will essentially wait for this one to end. So we won't be missing anything. Very nice indeed. Uh, I'm going to go to free fly. Why don't I keep getting put out here for some reason? That's all good. Um, yeah, let's see what the progress is like. Uh, it's maybe not even 5%. Security not able to hold it down though. Rush Zone has reclaimed and they're getting the Gibbs in. Stompy stomp. There we go. Um, I, it looks like maybe Rushstone hasn't quite learned that you have to actually look at the player that you're stomping. In order, to, like basically, it's uh, you can be looking anywhere you want, like this, as you start the animation. But as the animation connects, you have to be have you have to have your crosshair on your target. That's that's how the, the uh, stomp action works. <laughs> so yeah, good times, good times. Um, still no real advancement by Rise. I'm going to hop out and take a look at stuff from their point of view. Looks like they're pushing uh, non-CP side pretty heavily. Couple of conveyors. Um, security conveyors. Let's see if they can get in on the belts. We've got Jeeves rushing in, trying to clear. And uh, midair, able to get a kill, I believe. He rushes in and uses this for cover as he reloads. And Inva as well has taken over and uh, reclaimed the terminal. So, really solid hold so far. Again, everything's been completely thwarted. We have a very odd, very, very odd Lazarus grenade toss with Inv just standing there. Huh, not sure how I feel about that. We got mines going up uh, on this doorway, so pretty much keeping this covered. Who's covering up here? Yeah, Dookie, looks like he's just front and center. Wow, this is actually really ballsy to play this, play this so forward. Because you get shot in the face. That being said, looks like he's been able to do it pretty solidly. And Rise continues to uh, get held right out the doorway. And you can see their bodies just strewn about here and not able to get very far. So, Let's watch some security. See what they can put together. Oh, he's born. Go back to Ember. And one thing I have not seen is Rise try to use uh, possible to run past the spawn turrets on the resistance side as security. You can basically run over to their spawn 
and drop down their spawn hatch. We have not seen that happen. It's uh, become pretty popular on North American servers. A grenade coming in from Enver, and it looks like we got a command post capture for security. And we're taking a lot of fire, going solo against Bourne. Instant revive, though. He's going to be able to get back up. Very nice work by midair. Double push again. Again, the timing is just disjointed, and the nade is perfect there to pull down Hippie. Potentially see a revive. I don't know why the camera keeps popping out here, but it does. Always live with it. Dan pushing in, hitting a mine, and oh, that's going to hurt a lot. He's going to have to hit himself with a syringe. That being said, though, can he get the shutdown right here? Oh, he hides for cover. And oh, in spots him. And Dan is not able to pull him down. They actually uh, mutually kill each other. Very nice. But, um, oh, a little bit of a flashbang. Kind of blind. So it's a minor problem. Corrects itself. Over oh, time. Um, that being said, again, look at this rush zone completely holding it down. Enver is up top, though. He has upper belts. Can he hold it down? Dan rushing in as a medic. Uh oh, can we get can we get a no great timing by Bourne to come in and kill the operative. Knock him down, kick him in the nuts, and there it is, a pistol kill to get it done. He's not been gibbed though. Nades a plenty. Jeeves is still able to be revived. Hippie will not be able to do so though. He's been pulled down. And uh Yeah, we're back to square one, so. Sad but true. This is really why I wanted to have uh, rush zone on the offense this time around. So that we don't necessarily see two 20 minute holds because you know, you got one team that's just better. So, that being said, yeah, look at this, almost no real tap on this objective. Um, Every time an operative gets up here, he's getting shot in the face. GFN does TK though. Jeeves is down. But, yeah, that's pretty much done. Uh, that push. Let's see if these guys, Enver and Dead Mouse, can make a push through non CP side. like the answer is no. They're really holding up there. Trying to wait. Here comes Hippie's try. Let's see what he can do. They can switch up to belts. They're not going to stick together, though. I don't know if I agree with that. Let's see how the belts is going. Ooh, Dan has again taken... Oh, he's been able to met up, too. This is really important. Can he get the kill? Oh, he moves out to uh, use his maze. Comes under fire. Is able to shut down at least that first uh, wave, but the question is, can we get an actual touch on the objective? And we're coming in. Oh, from above we have, it looks like it's going to be Dookie getting nades from above. Very solid. And he gets Enver again, and wow, he's still not dead. I'm looking at the, the obituary list. He's still not dead. Uh, Dan's going to try top push with two of his teammates and see if it will uh, see if it will work out for them. Oops. <laughs> nice Lazarus. Jeeves is going to be able to pretty much get up and die. Oh, not able to get the cover. He tried. He tried. But again, you can use your um, spawn immunity in order to try to run as long as you reload, switch weapons, fire, and or do anything hostile. That being said, Dookie, MVP right there, able to hold down that wave um, and the wave previous. So very solid. 10 minutes, 35 seconds on the clock. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to say, if they have to go, then they have to go. Communicating with the admins to make sure we got everything set up for the next matchup, guys. Just sit tight. 
And watch Boring kick some ass, right? Alright, there we go. Just uh, talking to the admins, getting some stuff squared away. But yeah, uh, really important to have um, teams not be offense for the um, first round of stopwatch twice. Like the same team be offense for, the, for both maps twice. Because you end up with this situation where we have Ryze who just is not as good as Rush Zone, basically trying to attack twice. And that's dumb because they're gonna get held uh, both maps for 20 minutes, so we get to sit here and watch them beat their head against walls. What should have happened was on Shipyard, Rush Zone should have been on offense since it was their pick. And uh, we would have seen a, you know, like maybe seven minute time to beat, something like that, or whatever it was. Um, or I guess it was more like 10 minute time to beat, but it wouldn't have been a full 20 minutes. That being said, we are at least getting a decent hack in here. By Rise, can they hold it down there? Here comes Born, and he has just destroyed, along with Goofy, every single person in this room. So down they go. So uh, part of my concern here, by by watching these longer games, is that we also have um, some other coverage. I know first cap has been awesome and said, yeah, we can wait. But uh, the problem there becomes... Actually, you know what? Our, our next game is not until 5 p.m., so this will actually work out just fine. Um, the, the, the last game is not until 5 p.m. Eastern, which is... Uh, oh, Dan is sitting there in spawn. There we go. Which, of course, is uh, 23 CEST. So, and but the main thing is that first cav and uh, very costly. Awesome so we're okay for the day. Alrighty. So that being said, uh, back to the game here. We've got Redstone pretty much holding the things down completely. I mean, look at the crossfires that they have set up here. We got Born in the corner. We've got. Uh, uh, Dookie up top, providing coverage there. He drops down whenever the firefight is clearly on the ground level and uh, floods this. I mean, they're not even really bothering to come in here yet until they've tossed nades. I, mean, I, I think I've seen a nade tossing this thing every single time, leading it. And, of course, I think grenade shooting might be on. I, I'm, I don't know if that's been disabled. But, um, again, so you can pretty much toss a nade and detonate it exactly when you want it to be detonated. Uh, or, of course, you can cook it. Cooking is good, too. It's always good to have culinary skills. Uh, let's take a look, see if security can get in here. Oh man, geez, it's just coming out so much fire. Um, let me, let me pop out here and I just want to show off something. This is the angle in which you want to attack this room. That being said, we do have a hack coming in, but it's short-lived. I just heard, yeah, Jeeps died. Okay. Uh-oh. Down goes Dan again, hitting that mine every single time. They have an operative, so they should be spotting that ship, but... Um, this is the angle that you want to be actually attacking this room from. We saw Jeeves come all the way up here. And at this point, he's... I mean, it's such a wide angle of fire. As you strafe back and forth, you're still in their line of sight. Okay? Which is why, honestly, this is why this box is here. So that you can, uh, you can use it. And you can shoot all the way into and across and through into the objective room. You can even toss nades that way to, to take down mines and so on. So, a uh, little bit of a disagreement, I would say, with uh, positioning Ducky, Dookie, whatever it is, kind of dropping down and providing his fire to get a kill on uh, Hippie. 
and Dead Mouse. Very solid kills there. So, four minutes, 40 seconds. We, we go back to the old uh, drawing board for Securita. We're gonna watch Ember. Ember and Dan. Ember already dead. Dan, seriously, turn around and give your teammate us some love. There you go. I was getting shot. He might be gibbed. Hippie, yeah. Hippie coming through now. Non CP side, checking belts, and comes under fire from in. Down he goes. Mutual kill, in fact. Uh, actually, oh, excuse me. Uh, GFN killed him right there. Revive comes in for Hippie, but down he goes again. GFN from afar. Taking it from CP side. Very nice coverage there. Getting word that uh, they were not pushing CP side. He turns around, and gets coverage from all the way down the belts. Midair. Pretty much dead. Yeah, dead mouse. No, Midair survives, excuse me. Excuse me there. Dookie pressing in. Clearing out non CP side injury as well. Great, again, setting up a crossfire, shut this down. Really solid stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's just so scary. Good news is I think when we flip sides, we'll see Rush Zone set of time. So you guys, our, our next game will directly follow this one, and then we have one more at 5 p.m. Um, hopefully that'll work out okay. This one should be over in about, uh, I would guess, 15 minutes. Hopefully. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's just go ahead and get him ready for 15 minutes. Uh, not even wait, because just looking at the time, 5 p.m. will be here very quickly. So I want to get first cab and very tough stuff and running uh, as soon as possible. Okay, so I, I already have the server info for the next game. Uh, so we're all set there. We're going to see this uh, timer wind down, and I'm going to go take a look at the actual progress. See how far they got on this hack. It looks like eh, it's actually pretty close. They could get this, at least for the um, progress marker. There's the potential there. Although, look at this dead mouse coming in, just right in your face and blowing away one. Not able to take down midair and jeeps, though. Um, excuse, excuse me, just midair. Deeds though, coming from behind, and down he goes. Hippie again. Just such a good job cleaning up. Question is though, um, can they finish off this objective for the progress advancement? Minute 15 on the clock. Multiple enemies spotted. I'm looking to see who's going to be coming in here. Midair covering. CP side, we've got Ducky back in his uh, special spot, upper conveyors. And Enver just trying to slide in like, I don't know what he was thinking, but to be honest, you're just not going to run through someone that has the shot that uh, anyone in competitive brink. I mean, you just, you cannot slide in front of them and expect to get a kill. Unless you get like the most amazing headshots on the planet as you slide. Maybe. Maybe then, but... Other than that, you're dead. Uh, final push, 30 seconds. Looks like we got a potential CP push. Yeah. Mouse is here. Dan comes in and hacks the objective for just a split second. Not long enough. He's already dead and good, so. Yeah. Really, really solid uh, control of this objective. And we're going to see things flip. All right, guys, so well pretty done, much uh, we're going to watch the this and for 10 to minutes. And then in order to now, not so potentially screw up action. the timing of the last map, 
match of the day. We want to get Veritas versus First Cav underway uh, in, in about 10 minutes. So I already have the info for that. Should be able to switch over to it, no problem. Uh, should be good times. Yeah. Let's take a look at the uh, awards. We got best overall, mid-air, best soldier, ducky, dookie, something like that. Best medic. Oh, actually, a yeah, very quick. We no longer have the uh, like minute wait in between. Looks like the class loadout's going to be roughly uh, pyramids. Wow, operative still for... Okay, there we go. Yeah, operative still for the resistance. Maybe he didn't have a chance to switch it up. Interesting. Let's see if that stays. That's a bit odd. 20 minutes after he fools you. <laughs> Says his mouth. All right. So, okay, there we go. There's the switch up. Pair of engineers for Rise, Jeeves and Ember. Uh, Paramed's Dead Mouse and Dan and Hippie, of course, is running the soldier. We saw him do that last map. Good times. Um, taking a look at the offense, we have pair of engineers, one operative, and pair of meds. In the middle are your medics, Born and GFN are your engineers, and the operative, excuse me, the the medic shall be midair and infest team operatives duty. There we go. A little bit of redundancy, but hey, there you go. Wow, that's a pretty massive respawn for Rise. That's not good. There's a hack on the mainframe. I'm gonna hop over to it. See if they can survive. Look at this. Dookie trying to jump around using the plant. Not gonna happen. Born coming up though, able to uh, get a lot of kills. The hippie is still alive. Not a medic though, so good target choices. In fact, hippie is the only poor bastard still alive. Let's see. Here comes the Rise Respawn, just in time. And again, this is um, something I really hope uh, gets fixed um, in the next patch, our Respawn Times. Looks like they are going to press upper really convincingly. And uh, that did not work at all. All right, so Rise has been able to reset. Inv is inside, though. This is trying to run run for the less obvious places that rides would be set up. Trying to get to cover, not gonna happen. Um, I personally love running this position where Dan is, because you can get so much death and destruction. Uh, and, and if you're close enough, like, to the wall, you actually don't get spotted. Like, you can kind of hide over here, there it is. Kind of hide back here. Your flank is covered, it's good times. Here comes GFN, though, trying to use CP side. And he's been joined by midair. Wow, they are really rolling through this. Can they, though, get their operative in place? Rise, Dan takes the operative cubby and uses it to great effect. Uh, excuse me, that was a dead mouse, I guess. And oh my god, Dookie getting three kills in a row. Holy shitballs. Very nice. The question is, though, can security actually get this position? I've not seen that yet. Watch Dookie. He's earned some camera time with that three in a row. Let's see if he can uh, make a play happen again for his operative. I mean, for his, uh, for his team again, he is an operative. And he should be hanging back smartly. Nice. Should get a revive instantly on Born. And is he able to get up in time? No, he's down and out. So, Dan able to get a pair of kills. Born and Midair are down. Dookie to buy himself. He needs to wait for the respawn. Just wait for his team. Maybe do damage, but not worry about going in. But, yeah, but look at how he how he's rolling this. How he kind of peeks out and heads back. Peeks out and heads back. Tosses the cow traps to try to uh, limit. And oh, from behind there is Dan hiding in a corner, and he's able to pick up uh, quite a few kills. So yeah. Sitting on luggage. You gotta watch out for that luggage. It's, uh, it's a pretty good spot. Because most players, they are completely focused on... Okay, do I see a turret back here? I, I do. Do I see a guy in here? I do. Alright, I'm done. Time to come in here. Oh, look at me. I'm getting shot. So, pretty solid coverage so far. Once again, though, guys, in just a few minutes... Uh, we will actually switch off of this game. Because I really want to see First Cav and, and Veritas. I'd like to maybe see a solid hack happen, though. Here comes a Lazarus grenade. Let's see if that gets up. 
Yeah, Ryze is still pretty much in control. We got Born though, trying to come in and just does not have the angles. Jeeps goes down. Oh my god, it's Ducky again. Holy shit balls. Ridiculous. Seriously, dude. All right, we should see a hack coming in. Come on, operative. Oh, Dan just right in your face. Hasn't turned around, though. And be able to get a revive on midair. So both medics are up. Dookie coming through. Can they get a damn operative here? Here we go. Dookie is on it. So now they have to... Do they have coverage on the back? They need coverage on the back. That's what's missing. Yeah, they're all coming on the back. It's just Inv up there. And he's been spotted and pulled down. Look at this uh, instant run. <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. So only about 30% hacked away. Kind of sad. Ryze is able to retake. Uh, I, I feel like they did not do a well enough job communicating which side or how that uh, push is going to be uh, reclaimed. They really need to kind of fix that. Uh, get a little bit more. Although, oh my god, Dookie is still alive up here. Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. And they have not set up mines again, except for that one, which he actually spots and takes out. It's on the objective. Hot up on plant. Oh, he needs to watch his ass. Though. Dan's about to hit him in the side, and down he goes. Alright. So Rise is retaking. Only three guys up. Two guys from spawn. Full respawn wave for rush zone. The question is, can they get in the zone and rush this objective? We're only seeing maybe 5% hacks per time, and whereas Rise got one really decent hack. Uh-oh, and mine comes up after they pour through, after they pour through. Dan's going to be able to get both kills, though. So a bit of a mistake on their part to not, um, again, check that luggage corner. Uh, it is quite, uh, quite the doozy. Yuki trying to get in here and will be able to take down Enver, but their dead mouse is ready and willing to fill the crosshairs. With Dookie and GFN, although my god, look at this, Jeeps. Not turning around quick enough. Hmm. A little bit of back and forth, but Rai's still holding on, so... Multiple sadly, I think fun. we need to go watch the other game, guys. I, I, I don't want to watch full holds over and over and over and over, so... Uh, let me get that sorted.